Yes, so good day and welcome once again to the talk. It's always a pleasure being here. Now, something I always say, uh, tell people if they are willing to hear or listen. I find that religions, they are so much alike that they are one. Okay, what I mean is this. We have two major religions on the face of the earth. If you is not one, you are the next. Basically, or uh, maybe you are just not a part of any of those, right? But you have Christianity, and you have the, the Muslim community. Now, both of those religions have the most religious influence on the face of the earth and that is true the thing is muslim would like to say they are not christians and um, they are no part of christians and then you have christians would say that they are not muslims they are nowhere close to being muslims but then in the Christian community, I want to make something abundantly clear. In the Christian community, there are so many different factions of so-called religions. And each and every one of them say they are Christians. But they have different interpretations. I mean different teachings but what in, what makes it most ridiculous is that they all read the same book they all read the same book they all get their doctrine from the same book or they would like to see they get the doctrines from the same book which to me is just a fallacy anyway but the teaches things completely different most of them in particular like to say that they are not catholic and they actually broke away from catholic oh yeah but when i look at it i see a lot of similarities take for example in the Muslim community, they are Shiite Muslim, they are Sunni Muslim, they all read the Quran. I mean, like, seriously, they all read the Quran, but then they have different outlooks and how the religion and how the community should go. But they read the Quran and they have the same prophet, right? Okay, so I find all these things with the Christians and even the Muslims, I find that is kind of uh, confusing. So, it's confusion. Then you even have the nation of Islam. And then you have other Muslims that, well, they create their own names. Okay? So, combine what is happening in the Muslim in um, the Muslim community and the Christian community, I find that it is a recipe for confusion. Because in the uh, Christian community, you find that the majority of Christians, for some reason or the other, worship somebody they call Jesus, right? And everybody have a different outlook within that community of who that person is. Some of them don't even know. Yes. Now, let's get down to your similarities. Now, let us start from just common sense then. What makes two people in a marriage compatible? What sticks them together? What actually holds their relationship together? Uh, what we should say is that what actually are 
certain criteria that will build a good relationship to make people one you know together be able to live together and the first thing i will come up to is we could say compatibility yes the thing about it that compatibility comes through what you share in common what you have in common in other words if you are functioning on the same wavelength or you know yeah you know you have things in common so you with that now you could come together and be one right and then you have a marriage bam think about it that way if you meet a friend for you and that friend to just rule like that together you know like real virgin or sistering together you all have to have things in common it's like a soldiers a soldier within the army and he's an, in a squad now for him to function in that combat zone effectively with his squad they all have to have something in common which is their training you see the mission they have that in common and plenty other things in relation to their discipline that makes them one one squad so when people saying that you are i am not a christian or you are a seventh adventist but you is a pentecostal and you are a church of god and you are a whatever they have one thing in common and that thing they have in common is one they read the same bible though they get different um interpretation two most of them like to say they worship christ that is within the within the, the christian community but you know what what combines you and all other religions together as far as i'm concerned in relation to christianity and muslim and stuff like that i will tell you what each and every one of you kill people for your religion right you all kill people for you for your religion you all oppress people for your religion you all enslave and do people all manner of wickedness because of your religion the muslim did it enslave africans yeah the muslim did it the muslim even up to now you have factions of the muslim that kill people because of their their god their their you see if you say something wrong about their prophet or you say something wrong about their, their their god or whatever it is they they put you up for extermination they kill you given the opportunity you know they do that in the muslim community and that had been happening from way back when the muslim does that you know they'll even give their life because in the muslim um in the muslim community that is i'm talking about the section of the muslim that decide well they'll have to go and do all this um jihad and stuff like that they educate people in the sense that okay and it, actually that's a lie they lie to the people really you know they, they confuse the young people that if you die you 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 go to heaven and you get a, a bundle of wives and stuff like that you know and things like the muslim does that you know they they does that I, i'm not saying maybe the whole muslim community does that but that brand is on the muslim you see so you find that if you kill people in the name of their god then you make a place in heaven you understand and if you die in the process instantly you'll be get you'll get caught up in in heaven and you get if you are, you are a man then you get your your bunch of virgins and everything and you handle your business forever you know so most people walk along that road and maybe kill themselves i should say not with their own hands but by the actions and kill other people and thinking that when they die and their life gets snuffed out they go to heaven and get wives I mean come on that is actually what actually happens in these things in this community right and then you have the christian what about the christian people the christian people that is the same catholic these people i'm talking about because most of you all are catholic you all think the same do the same thing the catholic used to be doing the same thing Romans used to be doing the, doing the same thing they had the nice templar they have um the crusaders they walk around with a big cross and they dress up pants or whatever they have on you know and they kill people and them their reward was if they go to fight wherever whether it is in jerusalem or anywhere else then if they die then they they, they kill for christ uh, you know so they they die and they all their sins are forgiven and they they end up in heaven 
you know they end up in paradise if they kill people is their sins that are being forgiven the most people they kill so they become more ruthless and more terrible on the battlefield it's the same thing happening in the muslim world and then if you die in the process on that crusade then you make your way to heaven and that is a lie that is christianity most of you even today you don't maybe don't kill people like if somebody talk something that is against your theory of religion for example you might be a seventh day adventist and somebody come and say i'll tell you straight up lng white is not a prophet and then you hit me for that you understand i say she is not a prophet and if you're black and i tell her she is white she cannot be a prophet for you that won't happen you know there is no way in history you hear about a white prophet come and prophesy to 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 black people you see i would tell you that the experience the only experience we had with with white people in those times is because they bring us in slavery and that's the truth you understand okay so if you tell me about a white woman just happened to be just around the time when they decide to let you go from slavery or whatever it is to come and give you a religion that is joke at that time they never had any black people in their religion originally so the that religion in particular was never made for you and that's the truth but then the thing about it if i tell you that then you'll hate me for that so what make you different than a catholic or uh, what make you different from a muslim you understand if i also tell you that the same person you call you call jesus that is not his name if you really don't say that his name is jesus that is not his name and the picture they have up is not his that is not his picture because he look like me and he look like you and i'm talking to a black person and if i talk to you and i tell you that and then you find no you accept the picture that they give to you and that is the picture then you hate me because i tell them that christ or yahushua hamashiach is black but you don't want that so then you will hate me the only thing you don't have the belly to approach me to try to kill me but you would hate me and then if you hate me the same scripture tell that if you hate your brother you already commit murder so what make you different than the catholic and what make you different than the muslim that killing people that's all so the whole thing about it is this you understand the thing about it is that all those people who are running around playing them as christians and saying them as muslim they are the same thing you all walk on the same road you all have the same concept the same outlook on life that's the truth so don't come and tell me you're not a catholic you are a catholic and let me tell you something again what makes you so much one again let me that string that binds you together you know you have this song all those saying bind us together what are they saying is bind us together pope not the most i or elohim bind us together pope that is what all you actually should be saying that same calendar that you all have running around saying sunday monday tuesday wednesday Fr thursday friday saturday whatever it is and saying saturday is the seventh day and sunday is the first day that calendar could never be proven in the holy book in the same book you are reading you understand but then if you study your history because that is where that calendar lies not in the bible it's in the history firstly it was created by julius caesar which you call the julian calendar and secondly it was created by um gregory i think gregory 13th or so like that so they call it the gregorian calendar the calendar that you have here and both of those people who did it they were what romans and out of romans you get roman catholics you understand what i'm saying so that that calendar you're using straight out of the roman uh community the roman think tanks you come from there that is what you are using so each and every one of you are, are the same damn thing you understand so next time you're talking about a pope next time you all want to talk about rome and those other places just put yourself in the same category because that is where you are you understand that is where you are next time you want to run down the muslim think twice there is a reason why the scripture said you took out a beam in your eye before you take it out in other people's own look at your history think about it and be open-minded don't be a fool be at peace be blessed i will most definitely see you guys in another video if you want to hit me more fine if it makes you feel comfortable good go ahead you are welcome to do so because your hatred or your dislike or your resentment it will have absolutely no effect on me all the effect 
will be on you. So you might as well just love me just like I love the Father. Then your life will be better. Peace.